everyone, it's Ellen again, welcome back. Today's video is about Plan With Me July Set Up Bullet Journal. But first, let's do a flip through of my previous Bullet Journal Set Up June With Me Galaxy theme. I made a Plan With Me June Galaxy theme last month, so you if haven't watched it yet, I put the link on the description box below. I tried quite new layouts for the weekly spread and I'm quite satisfied with how it turned out after I filled it. June was passing through so fast for me, I got a lot of projects to work on at my work. So I didn't really feel the days pass on. Anyway, June was a good month if I have to resume. I did quite a lot of barbecue at my house, I went to Jurassic World exhibition, and yesterday, the last day of June, I went to Park Asterix with my friends. We had night private visit which I bought the tickets from a private sales website. So back to the main topic, July is here and I'm ready to share with you my bullet journal setup. This is a full month setup with 4 weekly spreads. I decided to do the whole month because this is my holiday month I guess so maybe I won't have much time to fill my bullet journal. And I'm wait waiting a good news for my family to come to Europe this month. So, as you saw already, the welcome page of the July bullet journal. I did a flower wreath and a short quote make it bloom. This month layout will be more pinky colors. You will notice that along this video there will be a lot of peonies. One of the reasons is that it is firstly a pretty flower, especially when it blooms. Besides, I worked a lot with peonies on June for my projects. They smell nice, they have gentle petals, and they can also be so big once they are bloomed. For the future log, I am doing it on two pages. Last month, I only did it on one page and it was too small for me. Plus, I am having more events this month. I draw some pairings and light it on black contour to light the calendar color pops more. I added a little corner to try my YouTube and Instagram statistics. And oops, I just realized that I missed a C on trackers, but yeah, I just covered my mistake later. Now move to the mood tracker section. On June, I did different objects like planets and stars, meteorites, and I found it a bit too much once I colored them. So for July, I decided to draw only petals with shadow and in the middle of the page, a black and white peony, because peony of course. And finally, I stick with only pink colors for the mood. Last month I had plenty colors and it was a bit confusing when you color the mood tracker. So I hope that for July my mood tracker will look nicer with beautiful petals on different shades of pink. For July, I put habit and sleep tracker on the same page. On the left side, I created different little boxes that represent days of July. I prefer when I can easily track my habit. That's why I did separate boxes for each habit. And of course, can't leave the patch without flower. So again, a little of peonies won't hurt, right? Then for the slip tracker on the right side, um, I think that my previous slip tracker look like flat lines and I'm getting a little bit bored. So I decided to change this month. I think that the final look will seem more like a zigzag statistic if of course I have different sleeve length.
Now the fun parts, weeklies! Start from the first week of July. I draw peonies, then counter them with my Black Stettler Pigment Liner 0.05mm and then I added shadows on the petals. I also write a quote saying bloom where we are planted. It means that we should take advantage of opportunities we have in our life and be grateful of the present. Then for each day, I put them in little boxes. I love how irregular shapes like flowers match well with defined lines and boxes. I also added light grey on the bottom and right sides of each box and flowers to create a drop shadow effect. With my simple pencil watercolor, I mix red and a bit of pink to fill some part of the flower. I deliberately leave some part white. Once dry, with my light pink Crayola Super Deep, I came to emphasize the shadow and dark spot of the flowers. I think that it makes the flower look more lively. Peonies, peonies, peonies everywhere. Here we are, second weekly spread. I realized that I draw peonies easier thanks to repetitive drawings of peonies. For the second week, I drew three peonies in the middle and then I surrounded them with two black thick friends. I wanted to create a tableau look as if the flowers came out from the frame. Then for the days, with my black heart tip tumble, I wrote down each days and then framed them with pink Crayola super tips that recalled the main drawing in the middle, and beside it, a little cute young peony that is ready to bloom. I was hesitating between coloring the peonies with watercolor or with markers. Then why not? With my Crayola Super Tips, since I bought the 50 pack and it has not bad shades of pink. I started by the darkest pink from shadows or darker spot, then gradually went with lighter pink. And honestly, I'm not disappointed choosing the Crayola Super Disc because it turns out pretty as I want. Now move on the third weekly spread. No drawing this time, just some cuttings and collages. From a shopping paper bag, I cut small square then wrote down a small calendar. I did some browsing on Pinterest before and selected and printed them. Then I grabbed my most favorite picture that I want to put in my journal. The bottom was quite empty and I didn't want to write down a quote, so I just cut a picture and then divided it in three and glued them side by side. I 
I hope that you are still with me, bear with me a little longer. This is the last but not the least interesting weekly spread. I really wanted to try the Dutch door layout so this part is dedicated to my wish if I can say. On the left side I put the weekly task then on the same page I wrote down Monday and then Tuesday. Last part of driving to I promise. I wanted to make like a flower banner look. So I drew flowers in arch shape. Then I filled the flower with different pink and green shades. On the right side, I put the weekly events. The fun part now is cutting the middle page. I also cut the corners in round shapes too. So in total for the Dutch door, I used 4 pages. The idea is to keep the task and events in highlights. Okay, end of my plan with me video. What is your favorite weekly spread? Let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, I hope that you enjoyed and see you soon, bye!